Hello, this is Jack from teachingeslonline.com. Now today, I want to share this tool here and why I think you should consider getting it as well. Now they're currently offering a discount. There is a link to that in the description. It's my affiliate link. Please use it if you want to sign up. But I'm just gonna share some reasons why I think this is such a good tool. So it's called Text Expander. And if you are currently creating content and if you have your own business, whether that's online or whatever type of business, you're going to send people links that you often just send all the time. So for example, if somebody sends me a message and they are an English learner and they say, oh, do you have a video on how I can improve my speaking? Because that's what English learners ask a lot. I can do this, speaking YT. Okay, I'll show you that again more slowly. So it's semicolon, speaking YT, which just means speaking YouTube. So I have so many snippets. I'm not quite sure how many, but basically what a snippet is, is you give it some kind of code. So in this case, it's YT, YT how play. Okay, and this is how to learn English playlist. So if I just put that in again, YT how play, it expands it. So you give it a, a code, like a short code, and it's gonna expand the text, hence the name Text Expander. And I think I probably have over 500, maybe a thousand snippets now. Some I use a lot, some I don't. And what I've done here is just sorted them by my most used snippets. And that, I think this updates by week. So at the moment, I'm using this a lot. Level TY, thank you. It expands, thank you for sharing, I'd love to help. Keep opening my emails and reply if you ever have questions. Because when I send out an email to say, what is your English level? I get a lot of responses every day. So this is my canned response. I sometimes change it a little bit or add a little bit of personalization, but it just saves me a lot of time when responding to emails. Um, this, I have a lot of these for emails, but I mainly use it for links. So again, if someone says, Do you, what, what's the checkout page so I can buy your course? Semicolon, check, TF, P. And there it is. Because I either have to go and copy and paste that link or try to remember what it is. And obviously if you get it right first time, double check this, it means that you're not going to make mistakes when you're trying to write it out. Now, Text Expander, there's a, a few things you can do here if you open up the preferences. But I like to play the sound, the bubble. I've been using this for I don't know, seven years now. And that bubble sound, it just sounds good to me. But if you don't want sound coming out of your computer, you can just turn that off. Um, there are lots of different options. Suggestions, for example, I don't like it when it gives me suggestions. And um, that, that's one of the things there. I just, just, I'll just give you some more examples. I'll do like eTeslo, it's an email address for teaching ES online, Teslo. ETF, the email for that. So there's lots of different things you can use it for. Just think about adding your snippets, what they're called, slowly over time. So when you're thinking about, okay, I need to send someone this URL, add it here. And what I've done is I've just put, I try to give myself the best case for remembering what the snippet is. But if you use it often, you'll remember it. And I always just use semicolon. Because if you're typing something out, let's just say, if I didn't say check, semicolon, check TFP. If I just said check, it might start expanding things. So I like to do this semicolon as like a way to just make it unique so that you're not typing things out and expanding text accidentally. So check it out. There's a link in the description. Like I said, I think it's really useful. It's it can be used on anything you're using. So inside your emails, Google Docs, Apple Notes. I think the only place it doesn't work is inside Text Expander itself, because I can imagine that could cause some problems. 
but it, it use, it's used for everything. And you can also get the keyboard on your phone too. So if you download the app, you can get it on your phone. I think you'll find that the price is really reasonable. There's a great free version as well from what I remember. But yeah, just check it out and let me know if you have any questions. And share this with anyone who needs to expand their text. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.